Welcome back guys, Mafia the old country is now available on PC platform. In this video I will be covering it on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11. It's a third person linear narrative driven game. Not like a traditional open world game but the game world is still quite big. It is set in Sicily, Italy during the 1900s. It is based around the origins of the Sicilian Mafia. The narrative follows Enzo who journeys from a childhood of labor as a Caruso in Sicily's sulfur mines to joining Don Torisi, the head of the Torisi crime family. I have already done my testing. The game uses Unreal Engine 5 and its performance is very disappointing. It consumes a lot of RAM. At 720p resolution, minimal settings, VRAM uses stays within a range of 4.5 to 5.5 GB on ROG Ally. But due to the high RAM usage, the game freezes for a few seconds from time to time. This is why I'll be setting the UMA buffer size setting to auto. With this setting, you'll be getting like 1 to 2 FPS less compared to 6 GB UMA buffer size setting. But this way the game won't freeze. The game also exhibits broken lighting on ROG Ally. It's due to Unreal Engine 5 global illumination bug that occurs on Windows PCs with integrated GPUs. Good thing is, we can fix this bug by using D3D12 proxy, which I've already covered in the past. But the problem is, this fix comes with a minor hit on the performance you will be losing around 2 to 3 fps after installing this fix on ROG Ally. This will cause the PS fps to drop below 30 in some areas which is not ideal for using frame generation. The game supports FSR 3.1 frame generation unfortunately the upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame generation. We cannot combine the in-game XCSS version 2 upscaler with the in-game FSR frame generation. You can update the in-game XCSS files to version 2.1. This will give you access to XCSS frame generation. I have already tested it. Its latency is lower than that of FSR frame generation. Highly recommended to use XCSS frame generation instead of FSR frame generation in this game. While traversing the game world, traverser status will occur from time to time and frame generation does not work during the cutscenes. First I'll highlight the broken lighting in this game. So first I'll run the game without any mods installed. After updating the XCSS files, FSR frame generation will get blocked, so I'll update XCSS files in the later part of the video. Adrenaline settings for the game FreeSync and VSync enable. I have set the UMA buffer size to Auto. Install Alice latest official GPU driver that adds support for Battlefield 6. Using a 28 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 28 watts. 720p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode X input controller. My Ally is sending on BIOS version 342. Launch the game. We are in the menu. Check out this scene. The colors here are way too bright. This is not how this scene is supposed to look. Lighting is broken due to Unreal Engine 5's global illumination bug. Graphic settings. Screen mode borderless full screen required for using XCSS frame generation. Resolution 720p, VSync off, no FPS cap applied. Upscaler XCSS, I'll switch to FSR. And now I have access to FSR frame generation. It cannot be combined with the in game XCSS version 2 upscaler using the upscaler's quality preset. Sharpness level set to 0.4. Motion blur disabled, very important. Global illumination, it is set to high and I cannot change it very disappointing shadows medium cannot set it to low I'm not surprised that this game runs poorly on ROG Ally reflections low view distance near textures foliage effects low post processing medium again I cannot set it to low or off that's it for the settings I'll just load the first chapter which takes place during the night time dark environment good for highlighting the broken lighting yeah, the first chapter has started check out the fps 35 this area is actually very dark but it's looking a bit bright due to the broken lighting 34 to 40 fps without the lighting fix oh no i need to crouch this guy take him out first just observe the lighting here see <laughs> What's going on? Broken lighting. Okay, now I'll install D3 D12 proxy to fix the broken lighting in this game. Also highlight the performance difference. Regression in performance with the fix installed. 34 to 40 FPS. 
Just download D3 D12 proxy version 0.0.4 from GitHub. It's free. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section. Click on the dot zip link here. Now open file explorer. Go to downloads. Here look for D3 D12 proxy archive file. There it is. Open it. Just copy these two files. DXJ.TLL and DXJ underscore proxy dot INI. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Two directories. Select the game in your Steam Diary, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the two files here. We are not done yet. Just open Mafia the old country folder. Open binaries folder. Open win64 folder. Paste the two files here. So you just need to paste them in two directories. Launch the game. Now we are in the menu. It's the same scene that I showed you before. Lighting is fixed now background it's dark fps is close to 55 without the fix install you are getting close to 62 fps here haven't changed any settings load the same chapter first one load the exact same chapter now look at the lighting it's fixed this area is very dark my character is hiding in the shadow i am pretty sure you are having a tough time spotting him there he is but look at the fps it dropped from 35 to 30 big drop in performance after fixing the broken lighting so it's up to you if you want to use this fix or not this fix is recommended for more powerful iGPUs like the one in Z2 Extreme processor or Intel iGPU in MSI Claw AI8 whatever it's called 32-34 FPS with a fix install 28 FPS C lighting is not broken here ok I'll just delete this fix play the game without it again it's completely up to you I plan on using FSR frame generation that's why I don't want to use it removing the fix is very simple just open the games install directory delete the two files from here corresponding to D3 D12 proxy open mafia the old country folder pioneers folder win64 folder Again delete the two files corresponding to this proxy there they are delete and that's it jump into the game cutscenes in this game are very heavy on the GPU as you can see FPS ranges from 25 to 40 frame generation does not work during the cutscenes so it leads to a very jarring experience when the game suddenly transitions from gameplay to cutscenes 30 FPS I'll skip it. I am at a Torsi estate. Lot of NPCs are here. Perfect for testing the game. You can see the micro stuttering. Spikes represent the stutters on the frame pacing graph. And here FPS dropped to around 30. Your father thought you'd enjoy this. 28 to 33 FPS. How is it looking? I'm doing some wine. Lighting here is broken. See, colors are looking way too bright. Okay, now I'll enable FSR frame generation. Animation quality is looking so choppy as we are outside LSVRR range. 48 to 120. Frame generation helps in improving the frame pacing, but will also increase the latency. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 55. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Look at that frame pacing graph, almost a flat line. It's highly recommended to use frame generation in this game. But yeah, I'm observing some latency as expected. Can be a bit rough. Hey, Enzo. Will you join us? <laughs> the lady Thanks. scared me. But I have something to do. Games interface, it's not flickering. It's recommended to enable auto aiming from the game settings. Snap aim. We are using frame generation. Yeah, FSR upscaler causes some shivering. See, during motion. Typical FSR upscaler. It's recommended to use XCSS upscaler, but we cannot combine XCSS with the in game FSR frame generation. Smoothing effect of FSR works very nicely. Now I'll just 
update XCSS files to access XCSS frame generation and combine it with XCSS upscaler. Just download Intel XCSS SDK version 2.1 from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the asset section here and click on this dot zip link. Open file explorer, go to downloads. Here look for XCSS SDK's archive file, there it is. Open it. Open bin folder. Just copy the highlighted files. Lib xcss underscore fg dot tll, lib xcss dot tll, and lib xcll dot tll. I'll show you where to paste them. Open the games install directory. Open Mafia the old country folder, plugins folder, third party folder, Intel xcss folder, 2.0.10 folder, binaries, third party, Win64. Replace the existing files with the latest ones. Paste. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Graphic settings. Set anti-lazing and upscaling to XCSS. Sharpness level same 0.4 using the upscaler's quality preset. Now we have access to frame generation. Enable it. Cutscene is playing and as you can see frame generation is not working. This applies to every frame generation technique in this game. DLSS, FSR and XCSS. I'll jump into the game. Yeah, we are in. Look at the thick frame pacing graph. This means XCSS frame generation is working. 60 to 65 FPS. You can use Intel's Inspector app to verify that XCSS frame generation and low latency mode are working. Look at that latency. This is amazing. XCSS frame generation's latency is lower than that of FSR frame generation. So impressive. I'll quickly run Intel Inspect app. Inspect app can be downloaded from Intel's website. Run it. Select Mafia. Double click. XCSS Super Resolution running. XCSS Frame Generation running. Version is shown here. And this is low latency mode on. Low latency mode on. Back to the game. Even XCSS Upscaler's image quality is looking slightly better than that of FSR Upscaler. Less texture shimmering is produced. Cheer up, someone. Your father thought you'd enjoy this. You want me to 53 to 60 FPS here. Well Very demanding the area. <laughs> hey, Enzo. Will you join us? Animation quality is not looking choppy here. Games interface it's not flickering, subtitles rendered properly. Okay now I leave the main up. Traverse the game world on horseback. My pals waiting for me. Luca's looking for you. Luca. Disable frame generation. Let's show the base game performance while traversing the world. There's a horse. We have a few people to visit today. All down in the bar. Shadow quality looks a bit pixelated. Your neck better be up to it, my boy. Don't worry. You'll be fine. 31 to 34 FPS. Okay, now I'll enable frame generation. Yeah, animation quality is looking very choppy here. Frame pacing issue. Ever had to get Disappointing performance. Frame generation on. With Back to the game. Must have got a drop down in the feet. Look I at that fluidity. Uh, Amazing. Latency Did nothing extreme. Uh, stop acting tough, Cesare. Doesn't suit you. Big He's open area in front of me. This is a man's walk. Oh yeah. Then I should have left you at home. What did you protect the people from? Even on the low settings, game look quite good. Visuals. They prey on everything. The law the they don't help. I recommend it to use XCSS. After this, I'll be showing you some combat. He just asked for something in return. Hitting the GPU bottleneck here. Look at that RAM usage. Heading 160V. We can also traverse the game world using vehicles. Horses are optional. 
Almost reached my destination. Objective. Hide with Luca and Cesare. So 53 to 60 FPS while traversing the game world. Made it. Now I'll show you some combat. Time to wrap up this video. Game did not freeze. Okay, there's Enzo. I need to clear this area. Cesare is with me. Three of them. I'm using my revolver. Even have a knife. I was aiming for his head. He has 60 to 70 FPS. We'll be getting better performance in the indoor areas. Base FPS will be within a range of 40 to 45. It's just the outdoor areas that are very heavy on the GPU memory. Especially when there are a lot of NPCs in the area. Shotgun. Objective marker. We need to save Isabella. In this game really need some optimization patches, better memory utilization, reduce the memory load. You can use the DTD12 proxy if you want. Expect the base FPS to drop by around 5, 5 to 6 on ROG Ally. If you have ROG Ally X, you can try setting the UMA buffer size setting to 6 or 7 GB instead of using auto. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.